everybody welcome back to my channel we went to walmart uh we have company coming over the weekend this weekend is saint patrick's day so we had to go get a few things so here we go let's see what we got so the first thing we got is some flip cups they were a dollar they're a dollar pretty much every day so this is the almond coco loco which is coconut flavored yogurt with almond and chocolate chunk pieces this is the s'mores which is a sweet vanilla yogurt um, with uh, gram pieces and chocolate and milk chocolate chunks and toasted say toasted marshmallow do you see what that word is it's kind of I might have toasted marshmallow on it hmm good to know <laughs> then they had butter crunch blast which I had never seen before it is chocolate low-fat yogurt with roasted peanuts toffee pieces chocolate cookies and peanut butter clusters so that sounded very interesting mom got another one of her simply scrambles by jimmy dean she gets the bacon we needed some taco cheese because whenever we have company i make that quiche so i needed another bag of that got another of my favorite creamer this is the sugar-free italian sweet cream by coffee mate Jim got two six packs of soda for work. These were $2.50. This is six 16.9 ounce bottles. Mom got 10 of her Coke one liters. Jim got four of his Mountain Dew two liters. Mom wanted some Entenmann's powder donuts. She was actually looking for the little snack pack, but they only had um, bags, so she got a bag. She got 12 Crunchy Cheetos, the 12 snack pack. Um, these are 12 single-serve bags and the crunchy kind. Jim got the chocolate-covered frosted donuts, and we noticed this time that they had ones with strawberry on the inside and chocolate on the inside, and he just opted for the regular original because that's the kind he likes. Um, we got a big bag of Cheetos Puffs. This is the party size. It was $3.98. Jim got two boxes of Pop-Tarts. These are the brown sugar cinnamon unfrosted, another repurchase. And because Saturday is St. Patrick's Day, we got corned beef and cabbage. So I got one head of cabbage because Jim has a little and mom doesn't eat it. And I am pretty much the only one who eats it. I, we don't know if our company will like corned beef and cabbage, but I'm going to make it on Saturday. And I got two corned beefs. This is the Point Cut Corned Beef Brisket. It was $2.49 a pound. If you listen closely, you can hear my father turning over in his grave. There you go. Because in New York, on St. Patrick's Day, it goes on sale for $0.99 cents a pound. It's like the most he's ever paid for it. Now, granted, he's been gone eight years, but it's probably only $1.99 in New York. <laughs> like, But it's okay. Um, it's only once a year and it's a treat, so we went ahead and I got two. This one is 3.12 pounds and this one is 2.93 pounds, so they're roughly about three pounds each. And if you've never had corned beef before, it boils down and does a lot of shrinky. So we'll probably only, this one will probably only be about this big when it's done and the same for the other one. Corned beef is salt cured. Let me see if it actually has a, direct, a description contains up to nope nope it doesn't okay so it's a salt cured beef brisket and there's different cuts um, and then these spices are optional so that's why you almost always see them in a separate bag um, this is sort of like a peppercorn mustard seed mix that you can boil them with um, and this particular brand has an online video to show you how to make it but somebody had asked if I could show them how to make this, but I will tell you, full disclosure, I'm not going to show you how to make it. <laughs> because here's what my dad always taught me. If you have enough, if you have a big enough pot, you do it all in one pot, which I do. You put your corned beef on the bottom, then your potatoes, and you cover them with water. And you take your cabbage, and you quarter it. And you lay it on top of your potatoes and you cover it and you just boil 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 until you stab your potatoes and there um, the fork comes out easy and you can tell when the cabbage is kind of like steamed it sort of becomes like clear and transparent um, or translucent I should say okay Jim wanted to try this it's called Sargento sweet balanced breaks 
It is Monterey Jack cheese. Oh, my tilts like that. Monterey Jack cheese, dried cranberries, dark chocolate chunks, and banana chips. And it's sort of like these snack packy things. So he wanted to try those. Okay, so since we're having company, we always get K-Cups for our Keurig when we're having company, so the company doesn't have to do the thing that I do. So we picked up a 12-pack of Donut Shop Coffee for $4.47. Again, not my favorite price, but it's, you know, three for a dollar is my limit, so that's close to what that is. Um, Mom got her pastry crisps that she loves. She got the brown sugar cinnamon. This is just a drizzle of um, frosting on there. And strawberry, same thing with the drizzle of frosting. We needed some mayonnaise, and I prefer olive oil mayonnaise. This is Kraft. Um, I don't have a preference between Kraft and Hellman's when it comes to the olive oil mayonnaise. I find them both very good. Um, I have not tried any generic brands of olive oil mayonnaise. Jim got another jar of Aunt Nellie's Sweet and Sour Red Cabbage. Um, I needed another bottle of sugar-free syrup. Jim got an original Sunny Day. Mm -hmm. Um, did they not have orange mango? No. Oh. They were out of the mango orange, but he got this for juice. That's Jim's idea of juice. Um, we got a four pack of chicken of the sea. Our store didn't have any generic um, chunk white uh, in water, which is the tuna that we prefer. Um, chunk white in water is what we choose. So this is a four pack of chicken of the sea. We picked up another 100% whole wheat swirl bread. This one has just tiny bits of raisins in it, but this is what I used to make French toast, and I'm out of my French toast, so I needed to get that to make more. This is the stain on my placemat. <laughs> Jim got one of these Equate vapor inhalers. So this is like the Vicks stick that goes up your nose. Um, and what's really nice about this is that this will clear out his sinuses so that he can take his nose spray. So this will open up his sinus passage enough to allow the nose spray to go in. So he got that. Mom needed a twin pack of niacin. This is 500 milligram diet supplements. Um, sorry, 500 milligrams per capsule, 120 capsules per pack, two pack, twin pack. We needed some Ziploc storage bags. This is 48 of the quart size and 66 of the gallon size. I needed some more flushable wipes. We forgot to get them when we went on monthly shopping, so there's a pack there. And the last thing that I'm going to tell you about is um, this all. So you guys know we need to use all free and clear laundry detergent, but um, I don't always dry my clothes so they don't get fabric softener. And I did realize when we moved in this house, it came with a washer and dryer and the washing machine did not have a fabric softer, softener dispenser. But I was kind of living it with it for a while. But now I'm starting to get irritated from like when I hang my clothes on the line, they get sort of stiffy still. So I um, went ahead and I found some all free and clear fabric softener and a downy bowl. Um, this is what you use for your fabric softener if you don't have a fabric softener dispenser in your wash machine, which we do not. So if you've never used this downy ball before, I can walk you through it real quick. On the sides, oops, on the sides of the ball, it says medium and has a medium fill line, large and a large fill line, an extra large and an extra large fill line. So what you do is you put your fabric softener in here, you close the stopper, you toss it in the machine, and as it does its final rinse, it fills back up and lets all of the fabric softener out. Okay? So that's how you can get fabric softener in your machine if you don't have a fabric softener dispenser. There's my model. So Jim needed a new pair of pants for work. He got original fit. Um, dockers they seem to last him much longer than um, he just has to wear black pants but they seem to last him a lot longer than any other black pants um, and mom got me a new nightgown for the summertime it's long which is nice that I have I have the privacy but it's got um, just thin strap sleeves and it's pink with black polka dots and little black lace detail and I love it thanks mom and that is everything from Walmart. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested in seeing 
what good bargains they have at the Walmart. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. When you do, a little bell will pop up over there. When you ring that bell, YouTube. <laughs> you okay? No, you're okay. Yeah. YouTube will let you know whenever we upload a new video. So as always, take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.